This is Sparky with Gear Live, and we are here at CES 2008 in the Samsung booth, and I'm here with Jason Redmond. Jason, you've got some really interesting UMPCs that you're showing off. Tell us a little bit about, for starters, what is a UMPC? Sure, Sparky. A UMPC is an ultra mobile personal computer, so it's a nice an acronym to add into the vocabulary. A little alphabet soup. A little bit of alphabet soup. And what it actually does for you, it brings the power of a desktop or even the power of a notebook and puts it truly in the palm of your hand. We are running uh, Windows XP Tablet Edition on this one. Windows Vista Home Premium is also available, so it all depends on what the applications you're running. Now, now you said holding the palm of your hand, and you're not kidding, because you're literally holding this entire yes. computer right here. Yes, it is less than an inch thick and weighs one and a half pounds. Wow, what kind of battery life do you get on a unit like this? This is getting at about four to four and a half hours of battery life, um, and that's with the Wi-Fi on. What's neat about this one, that we brought this out in last May, we now have added AT&T HSDPA 3G service, uh, wow. not voice, but gives you basically ubiquitous connectivity. You can connect anywhere that the cell tower has the availability. Browse the net, download music anywhere, anytime. Absolutely. It takes a SIM card just like your cell phone does to give you access to the AT&T network. Now, obviously this can do anything that a regular desktop PC can do. Are there things that this can do that a desktop PC can't do? Well, a desktop PC cannot have the uh, your, your webcam facing you right here at all times. Two megapixels, uh, you can video chat at all times. Uh, you can also not take a desktop and actually take a still picture. We have a still camera here on the back. Uh, How many megapixels? Uh, this is a two megapixel on the back as well. And uh, has the built-in QWERTY keyboard here with your mouse control uh, and your left and right click buttons here just on your mouse. So when you hold it in your hands, it fits very nicely. Perfect. Probably not going to be writing War and Peace on it, but definitely great for quick IM, email, browsing the web. Exactly, exactly. Um, great for the road warriors out there who want to go out and uh, you know do a quick pitch. And uh, wow, it's getting loud in here. Um, we have a VGA uh, out, so hooks to any projectors, uh, large format displays, so that you want to get your image larger to see what people are working with or see what you're working on. Uh, easy hookup. We also, we'll also have wired Ethernet um, and then uh, two USB ports as well as an SD slot. So if you're taking pictures with your camera, you just slide your SD card in there and you have access to all your pictures. Now with USB slots, I could hook up a full-size keyboard and mouse to this if I wanted to work like that. Absolutely. Even with Bluetooth 2.0, you can have a nice Bluetooth keyboard and mouse set up as well. So, now Jason, you said you had a couple of other models. Let's go check those out. All right. All right, Jason, tell us what we've got here. Well, we have just looked at the Q1 Ultra with HSDPA. Take that one step further. This has a solid state drive, so removal of the one and a half inch hard drive disk and putting in a solid state disk uh, that is 32 gigabytes in the current production model, but we're also showing off that we can double that and even triple that. Wow, now what, for our viewers, what is an SSD drive? So solid state, there are no moving parts within this drive, and that gives you a lot of benefits to boot time, to access to your data, but also from a vibration standpoint, you can drop this and not worry about losing your data on a, on a hard disk that could skip or even scratch. So it's faster, it's more reliable, more power friendly, it sounds like it's a win all around. A win all around and more rugged, of course. Perfect. Now you said that this was just, the, the 32 gig version is shipping now? Correct. What is the price point on that? Uh, the 32 is uh, $15.99. $15.99. Not much more money for quite a bit more functionality. Absolutely. Excellent. What else do you have here? Well, I mean... This one we're about done with. It has all the same functionality and features that you've seen in this the other one. But we're going to step to our latest version of the Q1 Ultra, the Q1 Ultra Premium. Let's go check it out. All right, Jason, so this is the Ultra Premium. What does this offer us? Well, Sparky, we've walked through two. Now we're on our third. We just launched this here at CES 2008. It won an innovation award. Um, what we've done is that our business customers have told us we need a little bit more oomph. We had an 800 megahertz uh, UMPC processor from Intel that we saw in the other two versions. Now we've put in a Pentium mobile processor, so spinning at 1.33 gigahertz uh, with a gig of memory on the board, also upgradable to two gigs. So it's almost twice as fast and what, twice as much memory? Yes, that is correct. So inherently gives you a lot more power. 
this runs Vista absolutely effortlessly. Again, you've added a little bit more weight because we've had to take into account for more cooling of the Pentium processor. So what we did is since this became a little bit thicker, um, we decided to put the extended battery in it as well. So we had four to four and a half hours over there. We now have seven to seven and a half hours Wi-Fi on completely using this machine. So you can make it through an entire day of meetings with this device. A lot less recharges. Perfect. Definitely. Now, does this also have options for the cellular data and the SSD drive? Um, at this moment, it is an 80 gigabyte uh, hard disk drive and it does not have the HSDPA yet. Yeah, but keep an eye out for maybe that coming keep soon. Keep an eye out for more iterations. Another big functionality that we added to this, a lot of people were talking that the keyboard was a little too small on the original one. So in the Q1 Ultra Premium, we put in a larger keypad um, with a little bit more rubberized tactile feel. So where you're doing a little bit of IEM over there, you're not going to get worn piece in, but maybe you get the table of contents and, and a few pages in before you get a little bit tired. So a lot more useful keyboard, a little bit thicker, but a lot more power. Maybe write a couple of chapters of work. A couple of chapters before before you decide to give up and go to the real keyboard. Perfect. Well, Jason, thank you so much. We're, we're really excited to see these. Love it. Thank you. This has been Sparky for Gear Live. Stay tuned for continuing CES 2018 coverage.